have your idea and have already defined your target market and customer base, now it's time for you to build your initial test group. And it's very easy for you to be able to tap your friends or tap your family on the shoulder and ask them questions for feedback. They're really great, always accessible. But it is also important for you to pull random strangers so you get a real mix of feedback across from people that you know very well to people that you do not know at all because they tend to be the most honest. Next is events. Uh, it is really important for you to go out to events and meet people that could potentially be in your initial focus group. Let's take an example of an idea where we're trying to make a marketplace for uh, working moms. And our target demographic would be um, you know, working moms from the ages of 20 to 45 that live in Los Angeles. Well, in Los Angeles, there's many networking groups such as Girls in Tech LA, Women in Wireless, Women 2.0 that would have tons of working moms that would fall within this target market for you to ask to be part of your focus group. What you could also do is use services online such as Amazon's Mechanical Turk or SurveyMonkey where they have a database of people that want to take your survey. And the cost is very minimal. You can pay someone as little as five cents to 50 cents to a dollar to go and take your survey. Now, if you think about it, you would probably pay a developer in the States mm, 50 to $100 an hour to build your prototype. Well, with some of these services, you would be able to pay, let's just say $50 to $100 to get about 100, 100 surveys back that tell you if your idea actually has a need in the market versus spending a lot of time and energy and money developing a prototype, putting it out to market, and then finding out that there was never really a target market or a core value proposition for your customers. So by following all of these steps, you'll be able to to pull together a great initial test group that will give you accurate feedback so you'll know if your core value propositions of your idea is really needed in the market or not before you create a prototype.